Hi guys, I'm Marie. And I'm Maddie. And today we don't have an actual normal episode because it is the last week of the month, but we wanted to bring you a little special treat. And we are bringing you guys 10 minutes of our Hiking with Hannah that releases on Patreon today. Yes. So this is like your little teaser, like, hey, you know, go over to Painter Island, there's more where this came from (laughs) type of thing. I actually, I had trouble deciding what to actually put in the teaser because the actual episode is over an hour long, I think, and my sister's hilarious, so it was hard to choose, yeah. It's always good with Hannah. It's always good with Hannah. So, we will bring you the Hiking with Hannah. If you guys have any more questions about our Hiking with Hannah or anything like that or our Patreon, just let us know. And Hiking with Hannah is a segment that we do on our Patreon where we take my sister, who's not a hiker, into the woods. No, like we took her on like her first actual hike like maybe a year ago. Yeah. And we try not to kill her. That is the deal we've made with her. Which also apparently us not coming into any sort of deadly situation while hiking, I guess, is a rare occasion, (laughs) which I didn't really realize until we started bringing other people on hikes with us. And I'm like... Oh, wait. Well, it's funny because when I was editing it, I was listening to the hike from my sister's perspective. Because normally when she's like complaining to us in person, for some reason, I don't quite hear what she's saying sometimes because there's so much complaining when we hike. You don't quite hear the actual part where she almost like, where death was at the door. Where she thought she was going to (laughs) die. So as I'm listening to it and she's like... And then my sister just propelled down this cliff. And I'm like, okay, well, it wasn't that bad. And then when I was watching her, like, actually, like, come down the cliff from the other angle, like, because we have a video of our hike as well, I was like, okay, I can see how a normal person might be like, this is a little sketchy. Well, on this particular hike that we did do, there is a <laughs> rope that is tied so you can go down this hill. Because if you just decide to run down the hill and then you don't stop at the very bottom, you fall off into the river. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that bad of a hill, but there is like a drop at the bottom of it. But if you aren't controlling your descent, you would be in trouble. I must say the retention wall like that we came across, which is super high, super sketchy, also a video of this. And Maddie goes out onto it and she walks halfway across, but then she stops and Hannah and I both yell at her because, you know, my daughter's out on a very sketchy wall. I was fine. Yeah, it was it was instinctual. And then I go down there and walk across the wall with her a couple times because when I'm in it, it's no longer scary. But we pan back to Hannah. When in reality, my mother is the one that's more afraid of the bridge because we've been over this a hundred times on this podcast about Well, because our- I'm scared of heights, yeah. but Maddie isn't. So the bridge bothers me a little more than it bothers her. But... We pan back to Hannah while we're walking across this bridge, and she's, like, flipping us off, and she's like, get off the bridge. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's pretty pretty funny, funny, and then you get to listen to this whole hike from Hannah's perspective, which is obviously, like, us trying to murder her. Um, But speaking of heights and fears, I did have a dream last night about us um, going through that that one rock area in oh, Joshua uh-huh. Tree National Park and I had a dream when I cracked about my that. phone because it was so tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a dream about that where it was actually like I was lucid dreaming. So it's already scary in general. And then I'm in this area, which is the only time I've ever felt afraid of heights was while doing that. Because you're like claustrophobic and yeah, so it's like death my waits for you. On yeah. The two side, things yeah. that are pretty nerve wracking on top of each other. And I've never just done anything like that before so I was scared but I had a dream about it last night and it was like so much scarier and then I got like (laughs) shoved down into these rocks and it was it was it was not okay well and I think Maddie and I a lot of times like we'll do things or we'll go places and then when we get home or when we're like telling someone else about it or looking at the videos of it and we're like I'm like wait how did we get back through that like that was that looks really not safe. 
Because it never is. And it never was safe. And it never will be safe. And yet we still do it time and time again. Oh, uh, we just can't help it. So we're, uh, yeah, dragging Hannah out. I think it, it almost like brings the danger. It, it makes us a little more aware of the dangerous situations that we potentially put ourselves in. It just in. makes me make fun of Hannah more. We also make fun of Hannah a lot. And her fears. And I will tell you right now, her number one fear will surprise you. And it is on the teaser. So <laughs> I forgot about that. So enjoy this hiking with Hannah and let us know what you think. Yeah. Yeah. And also there are multiple hiking with Hannah's on our Patreon. Yeah, this one's probably the least entertaining of the three, but it's I, still very entertaining. Yes, there is a much funnier hiking with Hannah because one of them were taking shots while doing hiking with Hannah. Yeah, while we're recording it. And we had to take shots at the car in order to get her to leave it because we almost killed her on the drive up to the hike. We all did shots in the morning and then we did shots Which a few hours later. Which is the first time I've ever seen my mother do shots, by the way. And she's a drinker and she doesn't do shots and I've never been able to get her. And the reason I don't do shots is because I did a lot of shots in my past and learned that they're a bad idea. But and also doing shots in front of your kids isn't the most responsible thing Oh my thing God, to do. I'm your adult child. Which is why you have now seen me do a shot. You're welcome. Yeah, it takes the peer pressure of me and Hannah to get my mother to do shots, which we are both very peer pressuring people. So It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, okay, enjoy hiking with Hannah. We'll see you guys soon. Hi, guys. I'm Marie. And I'm Maddie. And I'm Hannah. <laughs> we got to talk a lot than that, Hannah. And I'm Hannah. Okay, so we are here today recording... Another episode of Hiking with Hannah. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been so long. What was the last hike we did? Roby Canyon. Roby Canyon. That would be Robe Canyon. <laughs> Robe. It's not Roby? No. It, it the, would actually be Old Robe Canyon is the whole thing. Robe, like a robe you wear. I assumed it wasn't like the robe you wear. It's Roby like Roby Canyon. That sounds Rob better than Robe Canyon. Roby, like what? What does Roby mean? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds better than Robe Canyon. Oh, why it's called Canyon? Because you literally hike down to it? Yeah. So on this particular hike, you actually start with downhill. So when we started this hike, <laughs> when we started this hike, we're hiking down these switchbacks. It's not super steep, but it's a good downhill climb. It's like four or five of them. And then there's like this flat area where you kind of go through like the woods and then you get to this nice little walk along the river. And it's about this time that Hannah says, I think this is going to be a really boring hiking with Hannah. Because I literally thought it was going to be. First off, I wasn't even breaking a sweat. Second off, I was walking on a flat surface basically. It's like, this is a piece of cake. And what did I say to you, Hannah? Oh, I'm not worried about it. And laughed at her. Yeah. And then gave a side eye to Madison. And then I distracted Hannah with a waterfall. And we looked at the waterfall as we passed the trail closed signs. Technically, that wasn't until the middle of the hike, Yeah, that's though. the middle. What? We're not at the middle of the hike yet. We have, we've just begun the hike. We just started the hike. But I thought we were walking along the river already. No. Maddie's going to the only thing that she remembers on the hike right now, which is like the middle <laughs> of the hike. <laughs> yeah, you're but allowed we to go through the... one cave nope. first. No. Nope, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's before the rock the slide, sign... Hannah. Why would you even do that hike then if you can't even go through a cave without the do not enter signs? Because well, people have died. Well, we did go through the cave, so that's why we would do it. It is basically a bunch of boulders and rocks, and you have to climb way down and then way back up. Yes, with, I know. With the raging river next to you. <laughs> with the raging river. And these aren't just like small little things. I'm basically learning how to rock climb as we're going along. And <laughs> rock climb. 
<laughs> you guys, you're literally just like stepping across boulders. It's fine. They're big boulders. I had <laughs> to like stretch climb. my legs and I ain't flexible no more. Hannah needed to be tied in with a helmet on. Literally. And, like, I needed and- <laughs> some chalk for my hands, you know. <laughs> and I did take a video of her coming across a small section of these rocks and we'll post that for you guys as well. It's not pretty. <laughs> I'm a little overweight right now, guys. Okay. <laughs> And it was raining a little bit. It was drizzling for sure, which made the rocks a little slippery. Right. And then we get to the first tunnel. But don't worry, I do fall on this hike, (laughs) as does somebody else on the hike. Sorry, Shani. Sorry, (laughs) Shani. We love you. We get to this point right after the tunnel where Marie sees the rope. (laughs) The rope is broken, mind you. But she's like, oh, I think I can find another part. We find another part of the rope that had been kind of jerry-rigged. And she just starts careening down this (laughs) hill, rock thing. And I'm like, "There's, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. I'm going to die. So this is another time where we came to a crossroads where Hannah's like, I'm not going down that rope. And I'm like... Okay, well, we'll pick you up on our way back then. (laughs) The only thing that made me not... I was going to say, I literally couldn't do it anymore. I'm like, I'm not careening down this thing because, again, I'm not a rock climber. (laughs) I got no chalk for my hands, so my hands are going to slip on this rope. No chalk. By the way, the the chalk is not for ropes, you guys, if you were It's for the rocks? Yes. It's for the sweaty hands? Yes. Well, I had sweaty it's hands. Grip. <laughs> and the rope was wet, yeah, so the, the chalk, chalk would have helped. It's just going to mush in the wet, slimy well, rope. Well, I don't think that far ahead, Madison. <laughs> I'll be. <laughs> because there's big, sharp rocks, because there's a riverbed. So had I grabbed onto that rope and slipped <laughs> down, I would have slipped, hit one of those rocks, hit my head, <laughs> and hopefully they won't release my age like they did with the guy who fell to a feet from the trail because I don't want people to know how old I am. Well, I'm 39. Zip it. (laughs) I was technically 39 when we did this hike. (laughs) Hannah, what would you say your top five fears? Frogs. At the top of the list? Top of the list, frogs. I would just like to reiterate that she just said frogs were at the top of her fear list. The top of my fear list. Frogs? What the hell is a frog going to do to you? I don't really know, but for some reason... So you're telling me if I grabbed a frog and brought it to I you right now, freak, you would flip your I shit? I would freak out. But one time, it kind of stems from this. I used to not be afraid of frogs, but my kids, back in when I lived in my old house, had collected frogs in my yard because I apparently had a frog problem but didn't know about it. And they decided to make a little terrarium for them, for the frogs. In the well, house? we didn't have lids. Yes, in my house. We didn't have a lid, so they put uh, aluminum foil over the lid and like poked holes in it. Well, I went in one day to like clean their room because I clean my kids' rooms sometimes. My sister Wasn't does not. Sometimes. Yeah, my kids always say that living with Auntie Hannah would be more fun because Auntie Hannah does her kids' laundry, cleans her kids' rooms, and has better snacks, apparently. I do have better snacks. I will sure. attest to the better snacks as well. Yes. What they're referring to is junk food. Yep, but better snacks. Better snacks. I always had good snacks when I was at Auntie Everybody Hannah's. wants to come to Auntie's house for my snacks. It was good shit. Good snacks. But anyway, so I go in and I see that the lid, the aluminum foil lid, is popped open on the corner with not a frog in sight. They had three frogs in there. Not a frog in sight. So then I clean their room just so fearful I'm going to find a frog. This is when the fear really set in. I found one frog. frogs above spiders? Frogs are over spiders. Spiders are scary. My sister used to torture me Have with her tarantula. Have you not but... heard my tarantula story that we told recently? No. So you're telling me that you lived for like multiple years with a tarantula in your house and you had no idea, Hannah? I had no... I thought it went outside and died. So, frogs. I find one frog. It was still alive in the bedroom. Put a, a cup over it. Made the kids take care of it. 
Then all this, I never found the third spider or the, the <laughs> I never found the third frog. <laughs> but, well, I assume it's the third frog because the next frog I found weeks later, mind you, I had this really, really, really bad smell in my bathroom. Oh, no. So weeks later, I had a really, really bad smell in my bathroom. Nope. Couldn't figure out nope, what it was. Nope, nope, nope. It's the smell of decay. So, but my sink in my bathroom wouldn't drain. Oh, no. So I assumed... No. I assumed that it just... We, we lived in an old house. I assumed there was hair in there or something. It was trying to get to water and it killed itself in the drain? It, I plunged the sink. And you know the little hole up above in the sink, like the drain hole, so your sink doesn't overflow? Out pops, out of that thing, explodes out of there, a decayed frog out of my drain hole in my sink. I don't think I've ever screamed louder. It was horrible. So ever since then, I am deathly afraid of frogs. So I think the lesson of this story is that a traumatizing event will destroy anyone in our family. A hundred percent. Don't let your kids bring frogs into the house. Well, they don't know. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you want to hear more, click on over to our Patreon. We're going to head over right now and record our trip that we're posting on Patreon. We went and visited the scene of our next case. Yes. And it included Maddie and I having to travel. It included possibly a dead body. There's a ton of footage and disturbing things going on there. So you can check that out next week. Okay. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. And hopefully you guys have an amazing week. Next week, we have a crazy story coming your way that we can't wait to share with you. We also do an interview for that one. It's going to be amazing. So tune in for that. And hopefully you guys can get out and enjoy some sunshine. Yep. Yep. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.